cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men. So I simply cut them open. Stay out of sight. I won't rest until your reign is ended. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that. My master gave me a price for my freedom. And I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom? More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope, and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves. Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Felon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. 
Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Alexios! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Do I have to leave Attica to be rid of you? It feels like you're everywhere I go. It is very strange, but to answer your question, yes, leaving Attica would help. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? People aren't equal, even if we wish it were true. So, you would say, for example, that your life is worth more than another's. Then, would you also say that there are some who are more worthy of life than yourself? Of course I wouldn't say someone else is more worthy of life than I am. But to say that contradicts your point. Unless, of course, you believe yourself to be the most worthy of life out of all who currently live? I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. behind the walls he built himself. Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Stop it or die. Set me or not. Yeah! Get over here! Yeah. Uh, uh. 
Democracy when Thrakmi rules the world. Yeah. The gates are shut, no trade can come or go, and an army of Spartans waits for its prey. gets past the eyes of Cosmos. Slaves understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. Come on, Ella. Yeah! 
Slavery is natural. It is necessary. Join me, noble one. My good deeds for the day. What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? Come on. to stay hidden. I don't ask questions. I just follow orders. Ugh. <sighs> 
forever, and so will the cult. Ella. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. spotted. Yeah! Uh, uh. 
It feels good to strike you down. There is no victory without eternal war. The cosmos guides me. Come on. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. Darts! Kill him! You have been a thorn in my sight since you landed! Soon I'm going to be a blade in your throat! And if you kill me, you'll lose Eagle Man! We are everywhere! Everywhere! Hide under where we won't find you! Snakes will hide! I'm going to bury you so deep, only Hades will find you! That was for my family. Tell my daughter she should have killed me herself. She's not a daughter anymore. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos! I will lead those who oppose us to the gates of the underworld. Cosmos, be my guide! Ask him questions. Best keep out of sight.
My good deeds for the day. When deciding where our loyalties lie, we must consider the end. I spent 20 years at sea, only to realize the cult was my home. Thank uh -huh. 
you have a fearsome ship with a crew to match. Maybe you'd consider helping Sparta put a dent in the Athenian navy. You have my crew. Let's match Poseidon's wrath with our own. I have sailed past the sirens and into the mouth of Poseidon himself. The waves bow to me in fear. Let's move! We should stay back, unless you are looking for a fight. Push. Onward! of how I killed Poseidon with his own trident and threw his fucking head to the sharks. Sails down! You seem strangely excited, Herodotus. Head for open water! son to Cosmos, and the cult will be my family. We are the new gods. Sails down!
those that do not fear cosmos can learn to breathe beneath the waves. Chaos and destroy those who oppose us. I will follow the most to the underworld and bring my hordes with us. <laughs> We're friends now. They'll be on higher. <laughs> been expecting you. Please follow me. She's instructed me to take good care of you before she arrives. Your soldiers must be aching. I'm sure I can help loosen you up before the Oni arrives. You look like you're ready to go. Securing Kithira can wait. Good, because I can't. By the fates! Did she leave already? Yes, quite a while ago, in fact. The Oni said something about the scouts and their report. Where are they? The Oni is done with you. Malaka! <laughs> That's enough, Sherry, Priestess. We'll see this job. The Oni is done with you, Miss Dios! Now die! I got you! Yeah! <laughs> 
You! What's going on? I, I was just doing as I was told. If the Oni told me to take you to the garden, please don't kill me! Why did they attack me? I freed these men myself. They only played you like she did the High Priestess. The captain you killed was a leader for her sister's reinforcements. Uh, and the poison was to be used against you if you proved too dangerous. I'll show that snake exactly how dangerous I am. Why is the only doing this to her own people? The only hates her sister. She's been second best all her life. So she joined the cult to take power? I never expected her to take it this far. I'm going to kill this traitor. She's on her way to kill the High Priestess at the altar, north of the temple. You'll have to hurry. The altar? Good. Aphrodite will have a sacrifice tonight. Do you trust the face you see in your reflection? I don't. I can't believe you're twins. She's always been jealous of my success, mercenary. Living in my shadow has finally broken her. Kill her now! Lived in my shadow! I loved you, Theoni. I never wanted to be your superior. Miss Dios, you must kill her before she lets the cult take over Kithira. It pains me, but it must be done. You wouldn't feel a thing, you monster. I'm not sure you ever have. The High Priestess will know what was in the note from her handmaiden. Do not trust the fates! How could you possibly know that? Her end must have been so tragic she renounced the fates. The poor girl, it was all my fault. I sent her to spy on you, and you had her killed when she threatened to expose you. Don't listen to her lies. I am the High Priestess. I could just kill you both. Maybe I should. Kill us both? You truly think they care which one of us lives or dies? She speaks true. By the fates, with both of us dead, the cult will simply send their own High Priestess to fill the void. You would know what the cult would do, wouldn't you, Snake? What if I let you settle this yourself? Walk away and you'll have more blood on your hands. The Oni will surely slay me. Snake! She knows I am the one who will perish. If you do nothing, the fall of Kithira will be all your fault. Enough! Slay the Oni where she stands. Do the right thing, Mistyos. Slay the Oni. Shut up! You! I see right through you, the Oni. It's over. By the fates, I'll kill you both! This is going to sting! Leader has been sniffed out, High Priestess. My own sister. Oh, siblings. I hated her. But I loved her too. I know how that feels. You've secured Kithira for me, Mistyos. Now, about the cult of Cosmos. Good thing I killed the right priestess. Indeed. As High Priestess, it is my duty to call out to the Wayward and return them to Aphrodite's bosom. And if you've ever been to Pefka and met its inhabitants, you'll see why divine intervention is their only salvation. I've never been. Lucky you. One of my priestesses was sent there and came back... rattled. 
She spoke of a man, Melite. What about him? The people living in Pefka are terrified of him. He runs some shady operations, but what exactly, I can't be sure. Maybe this will be of help. Thank you, High Priestess. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time to rebuild. Here. The cult has existed for decades, and will exist for centuries more. Off we go. I'll root all of you out. The cult of Cosmos will burn the old world to ashes and build a new. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. Fight is only over when I am the last man left standing. Yep. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> I should be extra careful in this area. Yeah. 
Chaos is our greatest strength. Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal. You want the best! I said! The best! Do you want the best? No, she are they up! Or...
Fishermen should know something about swordfish. <laughs> uh, I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes, swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless. Cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Why is it that every time I mention his name, people jump? Swordfish controls Heraklion and everyone in it. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. That's ridiculous. It's all I know, Mistress. If he's so dangerous, why are you talking to me? I'm old, tired. Sick of bowing down to pay fees. If you can take him out, we're all better for it. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. I'm still paying fees to swordfish. Hurry up. This is it. Have you come to bite? I've come to tear your face off, swordfish. You think I haven't been preparing for this day? I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact? Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Vimos? 
answers, and you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But the Rachleon is still mine! All its fish and all its people! You're insane. How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the still. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! I'll feed you to the sharks! me anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. Broken man, haunted by the Minotaur to the very end. Empty words are best left unsaid. Perfect timing, Eagle Bear. Interested in joining us on the battlefield as we got those Spartan dogs? All right, I'm in. Glad to hear it. Let's send those Spartans to Hades. Today, Sparta will bleed!
present and future, kneel to the cultists of Cosmos. Time of shadow. Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of Chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. 
Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Dirty drachmi? They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, she's impossible to control. She worked her way to the helm, and then she held even more sway than I did. Malaka. So you were after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic. That you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist to guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Demos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. You've made questionable choices. But... I think that was the right one. You knew him. All he did was worry about the state of the Greek world. If I told him, it would have ruined him. So... What happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. 
You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I... don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Alexios. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Alexios. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Alexios, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm. The cult is nothing without me. Even the gods cower in my wake. Kneel or die. Off we go now. My lamb. You've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family... You're all I have left. Mother... There's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra! Please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult! 
I tried to save you. I did everything. The priests told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home? <laughs> The cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. She's too far gone. Too far gone? Is that what you told Mater? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one! I'm the one with a destiny! I will bring order to this world! You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! <clears throat> when I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts. A family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. And my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. I tried saving you once, and it cost me everything. But you are beyond saving. You won't survive the mountain this time. I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, brother! Your death is now! You burned this family for the last time! Oh, 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 oh buddy. That's where you're wrong. Only just begun. So disappointed. Was wasted on you. Father? Father? You should have trained with the cult. Would have made this fight more interesting. Soon you'll be dead, and so will your precious cult. This is for the lives you destroyed. This is for Brasidas, and this is for Phoebe. <laughs>
You were sent by the gods to protect this world. And you did. Come. Let's go home. You used to bolt around this place like a calf in the field. You wouldn't slow down. I remember. You chipped that, chasing your pater around the table. I remember that too. So many memories. With more to come. so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could. But it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. I don't think the gods can take credit for this one, Barnabas. An urn is only as strong as its potter, Alexios. Urns are pretty easy to break. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. Think wisely, although no one can truly know anything. <laughs> Treated her like a child. With the intent to protect her, you were not only her friend, but her guardian. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also... A private man. He had to keep to himself. He was always being pursued by something or someone. By protecting himself, he was protecting Athens from ruin. Aspasia may have been the only one who truly knew him. 
This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Alexios took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would suit a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> to see. 